picked up um, the load for the day, man. We got up early, had to be there at 9.30, but always, as usual, I got there at 8.30, like I always do. Um, it was a little strict, so I didn't really get to film much because they were on, like, security was, like, on you. Like, you, you go here, 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 don't and don't go nowhere else. Don't get out the truck until this, that, and all that. So I, I kind of shot the camera out a little bit, panned around. I'm going to throw that clip in, but we didn't really get to film much, but... We're getting ready to head this load is actually going from Charlotte to Wisconsin. It was supposed to be 20 feet, but it's only about, shit, like 10 feet. So I'm sitting right now trying to see if I can find something else to put with it. The only, only issue I have is um, where they put it on the trailer. They kind of, I told them to put it over the axle in case I didn't find something else, but they could have kind of moved it back a little bit more, but you know how they go. And they put it on with a crane and it, you cannot forklift it. So, I mean, it's not that big. It's not that heavy. It's only like 3,000 some pounds. So, man, if I could grab something, man, it'd be lovely. This is paying well, you know what I'm saying? Paying pretty well, but if I can grab a little something, <coughs> excuse me, if I can grab a little something, man, paying, um, and anything, man, it just made this more lovely, man. But, um, it's my first time going up north, though, going up north, um, through the mountains and all that as far as trucking goes i've been up to detroit and all that you know in a car but i've never been up there and trucking them excuse me curious to see how this goes but yeah man i'm just sitting here waiting i took it i took a lot of y'all's advice man got some camera mounts and all that little tripods and all that stuff trying to use to get used to it see how that works so far i seem like it might be all right but i was just checking in real quick man let y'all know we loaded and everything like that and um soon as this rain let, lets up a little bit, I'm going to get out and snap a couple shots with a load or whatever. And, uh, yeah, get back with y'all and we'll do that. That's what we got, y'all. That's what we got, man. That one little piece, man. It's paying good, man, from where it's going, but we got all that right there. You know what I mean? So, I'm trying to sit tight for a minute, see if I find something else, man. This was the nastiest hell out here. But, um, we're trying to see if we can find something, man. We can't find nothing, man. Like I said, can't be greedy. You gotta take it how it comes sometime, man. Excuse the trust, man. You can't you can't be greedy, man. We gotta take it how it comes, so. Now, don't get me wrong, we're gonna try, you know, but we don't find nothing else. We're gonna save some fuel, you feel me? We'll get back with you in a minute. I just wanna show y'all the load real quick, man. It was so nasty out, plus uh they were they were kind of tight around there with that security, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, here it go, man. AC unit. We're about to get up the road, man. We're gonna see. I'm gonna sit for a little bit longer, man. See what we see. If not, that'll be it. What's up, YouTube, man? I'm back so we can finish out this video, man. I came up on my first time driving through the mountains and all that, man. It was it was an experience, man. It wasn't so bad as about being going through the mountains. It was just the fact that I had to do it for so long. Like, it seemed like I was driving through the mountains for like four, four hours and some change straight. But um, other than that, man, I got to see some nice, cool things, man. Went through Chicago, Dayton, Ohio, Milwaukee. Not saying these things in order, but it was real great, man. We did go. I dropped the load off. I didn't film it, man, because it was pretty much cut and dry. It was just the AC unit, man. They were just going to take it off. They snatched it off, boom, a couple straps, man, and I was out of there, so it wasn't really much to film on that end, but um, I did want to get some footage since I do have my new mount. I was going to get some footage when I was driving through the mountains, but I think I got so caught up in, um, you know what I'm saying, just um, getting through them, um, I didn't really film it much, but um, so far, it wasn't so bad. So far, it wasn't so bad. Actually, after I got through the mountains, man, when I got on the other, like Indianapolis, man, it was beautiful. Nice flat highway, um, open roads, man. It was great, man. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it, man. So, um, would I come back up this way again? Or would I recommend for somebody who's coming like from South like me, because I'm from South, coming up this way, make sure the load is worth it. Make sure the load is paying. That's the only thing that um, I see as far as holding me up or stopping me or motivating me to come back this way. If I come back up here, the load is going to have to be paying for me to be able to feel like I'm being compensated. You know what I mean? It's not like um, going to Florida or something like that. It's like, man, you going to Florida, man, you just 
put it, put the truck on cruise, man, hold the wheel, one finger, man, and just go. You know what I mean? That required like a bit of driving. I actually was a little t tired sooner than I would be, cause like, man, I, I mean, I drive within my hours, you know, my ten hours. But like, if I'm on vacation in my car, going somewhere, man, I drive cross country, man. I drive ten hours, thirteen hours, fourteen hours straight. That shit doesn't bother me, but. Them five hours driving, like from my from the time I left North Carolina and Charlotte, where I picked the load up, till six hours later, man, I was wore out. I ain't gonna lie, I was wore out. I'm tired as hell. So next time I know, like you know, make sure. And this load right here was like twelve hours and some change. So um, I I would like to feel like usually when my lo when my load is twelve hours away, I'll drive. 10 of those hours, you know what I'm saying? And leave me two for the next day to get there. And I, and I don't mind getting there to my lows early. I prefer to get there really, really early. So, um, which this was cool, but um, I had two days to get there, get the load there. So it wasn't a problem um, for all the new people out there that's trying to get in the truck. And that's something to, um, to, to note that you want to map out your time and make sure you kind of plan your trip out. Um, I did have issues with that when I first started. I kind of had it figured in my head, but working with it was fine as far as me getting there on time but once you factor in eld and hours of service that causes a problem you know what i mean so you want to make sure you map it out but i had two days to get to this one i started to go home and then come but then i thought about it. i was like man i'm going through the mountains and all that my first time going through there with a the trailer i've been through there with a the car before but it's been years ago since i traveled i went to detroit and some other cincinnati and other places but um it was my first time going through there um loaded so I wanted to, I didn't know what to expect, so I wanted to kind of prepare myself. So I went ahead and left out early, which was a good idea because um, it allowed me to get, I usually try to find, if I get to my load the night before, I usually try to find like a truck stop I'm about an hour away, max, hour and a half. That way when I get up the next morning to go drop it off, it's boom, boom, I just get in the truck. It's like I take a little cruise and I'm there, you know what I mean? I don't like to um, get up, I don't like to stop, and then I got five hours ahead of me. And then I feel like, okay, I got to get up now. I got to lug it again. You know what I mean? Also, that cuts into my hours for the next day. So I always try to map out when I get my hour, when I get loaded the next day, I still got most of my drive time so I can get on my way with the next load before I shut down again. So that's just kind of how I map it out. That's kind of how I do it. Everybody's probably got their own way of doing it, I'm sure. But um, so, yeah, that that was the only thing, man. After I drove those six hours. I shut it down, and um, that's usually not something I would have done. I usually would have, um, plus I didn't get much sleep at home the night before too, though. That was another factor. But usually I would have dri I would have driven at least. I usually try to do about nine forty of those ten hours just in case I have trouble finding somewhere to park. I leave myself like twenty thirty minutes to find somewhere in case, you know what I'm saying? Because that could be crazy sometimes. But um, yeah, man, I shut it down yesterday, man, about six hours, man, because the mountains, boy, I mean, it won't the worst thing ever, man, but it kind of, like, it it involves some driving. Like, I'm used to kind of taking it easy because I always be south, you know, I'm going to Texas and Georgia and places like that where it's really just pretty much, you might have some raggedy roads here and there, but other than that, it's a piece of cake. Um, but once I got on the other side of Indian Indianapolis, man, it was straight plain. Like, it was just straight, just straight going, just driving. I see what everybody talks about the up north roads. Like I have friends that live in um, Detroit and places like that, and they always talk about the roads, like traveling north. Like um, it's some places where it's like some pretty large holes and craters in the road. But other than that, man, it was okay so far, man. No problems. I'm sitting here waiting, um, trying to grab me something else to head back south or east or whatever, whatever I find. Depending on where it's paying, man, I don't really care at this point. I'll go anywhere right about now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm here about to go grab me a bite over here at the pilot. Chill for a little bit. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the video. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that, hit that bell, turn the notifications on, man. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.